now we proceed to topic two, which is understanding the arts. So at the end of this session, you will be able to evaluate the perspectives behind the meaning of art, demonstrate understanding on the basic concepts and assumptions about art, and point out works of art in the past time that are still very much admired and treasured today. Okay, so before that, what is art? So, napahapyawan na natin kanina sa topic 1. So, yun yung sinasabi ko. Art is the lifeblood of humanities. Bakit humanities? Diba again, humanities internal. So, it is the lifeblood of humanities because it conveys one's feeling and expressions. So, halos lahat, diba? Lahat ng kilala nating artist, mapapainting, sculpting, music, literature, Lahat yan ay galing sa feelings ng tao. It's, ginagamit nila yun as a medium to express themselves. So, there's always a story behind it. There's always a meaning, a special meaning, a sentimental value, mga ganun. So, kaya nasasabi siya na art, a lifeblood of humanities. Now, art is the essential factor which motivates an individual to create and appreciate a thing of beauty. Okay, so, but before we formally discuss art, let, uh, let us look at the etymological meaning of the different meaning of, meanings of art given by experts. Okay, so art is derived from the Latin word ars, A-R-S, meaning ability or skill. Now, art is from an Italian uh, artist defined as human or skill. And further, Webster New Collegiate Dictionary, Dictionary defines art as the conscious use of skill and creative imagination, especially in the produ production of aesthetic objects. So, yun yung sinasabi ko na it is a product of creative imagination creative thinking, and a combination of the skill. So, sabi nga nila, uh, you create something through imagination. So, never limit yourself on imagining things. Kasi yung iba, sabi nila, sinasabi nila na, puro ka lang imagine ng imagine. Hanggang dyan ka na lang. Parang ganon. Do not stop yourself from imagining greater things. Kasi doon nag start lahat. And once na hinaluan mo yung skill mo with what you have, then you create something new. You create something unique. Diba? And one day, they will realize na you're called to do that one. Yeah. Uh, writers and philosophers defined arts in different ways. So, marami to. So, pahapyawan lang natin. So, um, according to a Russian novelist, Leo Tol Tolstoy, art is not, as the metaphysicians say, the manifestation of some mysterious idea of beauty of God. It is not, as the aesthetical psychological psychologists say, a game in which man lets off his excess stored up energy. It is not the expression of man's emotion by external signs. Meron may iba na sabi na, it is not the production of pleasing objects. And above all, it's not pleasure, but it means unions among men. Yun naman talaga yung purpose ni art, is to connect people, diba? to unite people. So kahit hindi mo kilala yung isang tao, tulad ng isang singer, hindi mo siya kilala, pero yung mga songs niya very really relatable, yung nakaka-connect ka, parang feeling mo may kasama ka, feeling mo hindi ka nag-iisa. So, yun nga, joining them together in the same feelings and indispensable for the life and progress toward the well-being of individuals and humanity. Yun sinasabi ko kanina. Another, from Henry Miller, art teaches nothing except the significance of life. Yun sinasabi ko, always, always, art is part of our lives. So, if you appreciate it, then you appreciate your significance. Why are you, why are you living? Diba? So, art will teach you that. 
And according to Aristotle, art is higher type of knowledge than experience. So, iba, iba kasi ang art eh. Napakarami yung scope. No? Hindi lang siya yung basta-basta experience lang na natutunan mo. You learn from different people, you learn from different artists, different, different, ano, different platforms, different ways. Next, uh, sabi rin ni Jin, uh, the object of art is to give life a shape. So, ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng purpose, identity, di ba? So, once na you know the path that you like and you choose what skill you want to improve, then it gives your life a purpose and a direction. So, it shapes, it forms your life. Next, uh, Jin, uh, Jin Kutu says, Art is science in the flesh. So, it lives within us. Next, James Adams, all art is social because it is the result of a relationship between an artist and his time. So, social siya since, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, society changes. So, artists depend din kung ano yung nangyayari sa society. So, ngayon, very, uh, ano na tayo, very modern. So, yung mga artworks na nakikita nyo, very modern. Yung iba naman minimalist. Yung iba naman napaka-3D. Iba-ibang styles. And then, art is the most in intense mode of indiv individualism that the world has known. So, yun nga, pinapakilala kung anong klaseng individual ka. Through art. And art is a discovery and development of elementary principles of nature into beautiful forms suitable for human use. So, yun yung sinasabi ko na practical ang art. Nagagamit yan sa uh, ang art, yung mga basket, lahat yan art. Yung clay, yung mga vase, lahat yan arts yan. Okay, we move on to assumptions about art. So, art is everywhere. So, your surroundings, home, personal care, pets, clothing, and body are all reflections of how you see and express yourself. Yeah. Yung yung sabi ko kanina pa. Next, art is not nature. Why? Because art is man-made. Art is man-made. It is the creature of men that may reflect a profound skillfulness and craftsmanship. Art can never be natural because nature is evanescent, meaning it is changing, changing, and in constant transformation of change. And yet, art is permanent. Next, art is imitating and creating. So, creation in art is the act of combining or reordering or already existing materials so that new objects will be formed. So, for example, yung mga tulad nito, itong lake na to, I think this is in Tuwaw, gawa ng tao yan. Parang pinapakita nila na it's a lake. Ah, parang katul kasing uh, hinalintulad siya sa isang lake. Yung original na lake. So, yun nga, art is imitating and creating. An artist only copies things in nature and he believes would express his thoughts and feelings. Art is a process of imitating in involving personal assimilation through mind, feeling, and lifestyle. That's according to Barrios. Next, art perfects nature. So, artists only enhance things. Again, enhance things they like and eliminate the undesirable elements in nature to convey their message of beauty and love. Next, art is universal. Why? It transcends culture, races, and civilization. So, as long as human beings exist, art is feasible, alive, and dynamic. So, makikita nyo naman yan eh. Yung movie na pinapanood natin, unknowingly, na nakikilala mo kung anong klaseng culture meron sila. Anong race yung meron sila doon. Anong civilizations nila doon. Di ba? Sa mga movies na napanood natin, tulad na itong nandito, and yung mga uh, novels that we, we read, uh, music that we listen to, mga Korean, mga K-pop, K-pop music nyo na yan, it transcends culture and civilization. Next, art is timeless. 
Art is timeless because it goes beyond the time of our existence. It is present in every corner of the world to serve basic needs of mankind from ancient time to modern world. So, it preserves din kasi our lives eh. Yung mga lolot lola natin, yung mga music na nanong kadaanan, it makes them reminisce and uh, appreciate the life they had before and then insert, the, insert that in the life they had now. And yeah, it preserves their identity then. Next, uh, art is timeless because it continually evolves. Yun nga, evolving, changing. Aside from artists birthing new artworks, they also never stop innovating, recreating, reinventing, and reviving works of art. Kung napapansin nyo, sa fashion pa lang, noon, <clears throat> noong unang panahon, di ba, nauuso na yung mga vintage na styles. So girls, vintage style na dress. And then, nag-evolve na nag-evolve. Tapos ngayon, bumabalik na naman. Nire-revive nila yung mga works na ganun. So, yun nga. Uh, it's recreating, reinventing, and reviving works of art. Next, art defines time. So, in watching a film, for example, even when you don't have the idea when it was created, the style of directing and filming, the clothing and bearing of the characters, all of those, uh, you would know when, what, when, anong time, anong era siya nangyari. So, for example, it's about a war. So, maalala mo, war. Tapos, makikita mo yung mga Japanese, world war. So, maalala mo na, ah, nung time to, nung mga sinaunang tao, nung mga 19, uh, 18, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, Makikita mo na, ah, ito pala yung sinasabi nilang world war. Ah, ito pala yung, yung, it, uh, see? <laughs> ganun yun, ganun ng art. It defines time. And while art defines time, time also defines art. It identifies the artwork that would click in a particular time for the particular audience. Again, art defines time. Time also defines art. So, yun nga, sabi ko, dumedepende ang artwork sa ko ano ang ating time ngayon. Ano ba yung, what kind of time do we have now? Ngayon, very modern na tayo. So, lahat ng, all, hindi man lahat-lahat, almost lahat is dependent on uh, what is on the trend right now. Next. Aside from the assumptions about ours, this other universally accepted ideas about arts are the following. Art as expression and communication. So, art has grown out of man's need to express himself. Expression is limited to the revelations of emotions alone. So, the personal and social values of artists he, and his penetrating psychological insight into human reality are also conveyed through arts. So, yung sabi ko, artists use symbols which he organizes into some comprehensible equivalent of the experience that he's trying to convey. So, yun nga. Symbols to be understood by his audience. Next, art and experience. So, yun sa sabi ko na almost all types of art are based through experience because art is a medium in which artists use to express themselves. Now, there are three major kinds of experience uh, involved in the artistic activity. Number one, it starts an ex as an experience which the artist wants to communicate. So, something an experience niya, maybe masaya siya, maybe life learning lesson niya, or brokenness, mga ganun. And number two, the act of expressing this experience, that of creating that art, object, or form. So, una rin broken siya, una rin ni, uh, Diba mga singers na kilala nyo? Sila Moira, sila Taylor Swift. Diba? They used their brokenness, they used their anxiety, their sadness to create music, to create that art object. So, yun yun. And number three, when the work is done, there is 
the artist gratifying experience of having accomplished something significant. So, pag tapos mo na, pag natapos na nila yung isang artwork, parang nabubuo sila eh. It makes them complete. It, uh, parang, there's a feeling na you have done, you have, uh, you have shown a part of yourself, yourself to the world. Next. Uh, Art and beauty. So a thing of beauty is one which gives us pleasure when we perceive it. The delight that we experience is called aesthetic pleasure. So beauty in terms of art refers to an interaction between line, color, texture, sound, shape, motion, and size that is pleasing to the senses. So maraming, halos naman tayo may mga preferences. Meron, mahilig sa atin na straight line, meron naman yung curvy lines, ba? Mer- meron tayo yung mga color, marami yan. Meron yung monotone, meron yung colorful, meron yung, yeah, different. Sometimes, beauty is not the artist's ultimate goal. Totoo naman yan. Hindi naman lahat ng goal eh, goal ng artist is for aesthetic purposes. Later, makikita niya sa mga other parts, yung mga pictures na ipapakita ko. Meron yung iba na, pagkatignan mo, Art ba yan? Para namang, eh, bangking-bangking naman. Parang ganun. Kasi hindi naman yung ultimate goal ng artist eh. Meron pa kang kayo makikita na, awan ko kung nakakita ka ng ganun. Ako mahilig kasi ako mag-collect ng mga posters na may mga, may mga quotes. Meron yung iba na, sinasadya talaga nila na doon na mag erase Parang scratch siya. And sometimes it is not aesthetically maganda sa paningin. Pero, hindi naman kasi yun yung goal ni artist eh. Ang goal niya is to let you see the meaning of that correction. It's not always the beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Art is often intended to appeal to and connect with human con- emotion. Yeah. Artists may express something so their audience is stimulated in some way, creating feelings, religious faith, curiosity, interest, Identification with the group, thoughts, or creativity. For example, performance art often does not aim to please the audience but instead evokes feelings, reactions, conversations, or questions for the viewer. In these cases, aesthetic may be an irrelevant measure of beautiful art. So, yun yung sabi ko kanina. Hindi lahat, meron yung iba na, ang pangat naman nung, nung ano, nung, nung opera na yan, parang wala ko naintindihan, puro kanta-kanta ng ginawa nila. Parang ganun. Hindi natin na-appreciate kasi ang, ang iniisip natin, sana maganda yung mga damit nila, sana maganda yung mukha nila, pero hindi naman kasi yun yung purpose ni art parate. It's not always beauty. It's the deeper meaning of it. Yeah. Kaya ganun din. Ganun din sana yung pagtingin natin sa ibang bagay, ibang aspeto ng buhay.